you guys. What's up, Ken? What's up, George? So nice to see you guys. Welcome to another episode of Lights Camera Live from San Diego. Woo! Post social media marketing world. That means I'm finally back. Like my brain and I are finally on good terms because my brain isn't fried anymore. So Colleen, Mike, so wonderful to see you guys here. Hi, hi, hi. Come on in. Today I'm gonna show you all like the gear that I use at conferences and what I bought on Amazon. So my husband wouldn't get mad at me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so having said that, what's up everyone and welcome to a new episode of Lights Camera Live. I want to share with you guys this amazing, wonderful experience that I had, which was getting to speak at Social Media Marketing World. What? That was crazy. Um, I've been going to Social Media Marketing World since it first, first started. And it was crazy attending this year as a speaker because I got to meet so many speakers and I got to meet so many of you, yeah you, in real life. George, Ken, Mike, ah! It was so amazing, you guys. So thank you so much for being here because I'm about to geek out with you. I'm gonna show you all of the wonderful gear that I usually use at conferences and what what gear my friends use, like Chris Straub, like what does he use? And the real team us, what do they use? So if you guys are curious, go ahead and stick around. If you know anyone that would be interested in this show, go ahead and tag them in the comments. If you guys are tuning in live, let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and leave the comment, hashtag replay. Yeah! Hey, Elizabeth, so good to see you. All right, you guys, okay. So I wanted to tell you about this really cool thing that I got to do at Social Media Marketing World. And I had this really amazing opportunity to work with Ecamm and help them set up the Ecamm Live studio, right? So they got everything set up and my responsibility was really to bring out my friends, the influencers, the content creators, bring them on site so they could go ahead and create content at the Ecamm Live studio. So if you see here, the new homegirl, <laughs> the new homegirl, Jude, uh, sorry, Goldie Chan, went ahead and um, she even wrote like a, a recap on Forbes just to talk about like how live video is coming up. And I'm laughing right now because George was like, um, we met last year. Yes, George, I know that. But this year you and I really, really got to hang out and sit with each other. But anyways, what I really loved about the Ecamm Live Studio was that they hooked it up in the sense that you could go ahead and live stream using a DSLR camera, which was like a Canon that they had. Plus you could use right? You could use a wireless mic and it sounded so good. Like literally, if you think about um, how the networking plaza was set up, there was like Ecamm Live right there and then content stage B was over there. So a part of me was like, mm, I wonder if people will be able to hear us on the mics. And you know what? They were able to. And it's because it's because Ecamm had these mics called Phoenix Pro right? So it's the Phoenix Pro and they, they swagged it out. Basically they had like the Ecamm live logo and all of that good stuff. And I was like, Glenn, I need to know what it is exactly that you used because I'm headed over to the Midwest digital marketing conference. Mike and I are going to be there. The whole entire 360 marketing squad is going to be there. George can like the whole crew. And I was like, I want to do this same exact setup. So if you guys are interested in how they did that, let me show you. One second, let me unplug before I like take out my monitor. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is you wanna get this Scarlet 2i2, right? Um, and it's pretty simple. You basically, you get the mic set up, which is like the Phoenix Pro. Do, 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 do. Um, they're wireless, you hook them up to the receiver and then you plug it into this bad boy. I've been playing this behind the scenes on Instagram stories. If you haven't seen me geek out, you will geek out. So let me go ahead and if you wanna give it a shot, um, let me show you, cause I, I went ahead and I just made like a kit.com for you guys so you could check it out. And this is basically, if you wanted to have the same setup that they had, let's get this up, boom. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get the Phoenix Pro wireless microphone system, right? And then you'll get the 2i, the yeah, the 2i2. And then of course you want to get these bad boys right here. I actually ended up getting like five of them because I didn't realize that when I was talking in the mic, like I really hold it up close and I got like all my lipstick on it. And I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Anyway, 
So that's that. And then you definitely want to go ahead and get like your mic flag, right? You could probably get like two of these for like 10 bucks. I was already telling Mike Alton, I was like, MDMC, let's get like some Agora Pulse mics and like rock it out like that. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Put your stickers on there. As you can see, I already have this set up because I'm going to be, um, I have a client event this Saturday for the National Conflict Resolution Center. And I want to um, do some on-site stuff there. So if you guys have any questions about that, go ahead and drop it right now. Mike Alton is already saying, I must have my own mic. Yeah. So here's the funny thing, Mike, is that Glenn was like, you could even get four mics, like one for each person of the 360 Marketing Squad. And I was like, that might actually be a little crazy because <laughs> if you know, if you know all four of us, in the 360 Marketing Squad, like Jen Herman, Amanda Robinson, Mike Alton, and myself, like we just might be talking over each other. So I was like, no, let's control this situation and just have two mics. Okay, so that's the setup. It's pretty cool. Um, two AA batteries and you're good to go. You're going to run with it. I actually really have to think about how I'm going to like pack this for St. Louis, right? I'm like, man, my luggage is gonna be like really heavy if I'm bringing my DSLR, my laptop, and all of that stuff. So again, you guys, if you wanna check it out, let me go ahead and just drop this link in the comments for you, okay? Boom, there you go. And let me throw it up on the screen for you. Hey, Dean, so good to see you, it's been forever. I love it when you guys hop on the live stream because you guys are like, the messages are popping off in the Instagram stories and I love it because that's like where I hang out, I geek out with you guys, and then it's always good to see you on the show. So yeah, all right, and Joanne Pham is here. Okay, so that is the, the wireless mic setup. I absolutely loved it. Shout out again to the homegirl Goldie Chan for throwing, you know, showing some love on Forbes and just the fact that I got to meet I in real life, Steve Dotto in real life. I was like, ah, like I had to really contain myself and just not like squeeze the heck out of people because I was just super excited to see George and Ken and just like Yeevee, so much fun. All right, so that is the wireless mics setup. Now let me show you like a couple of cool things that I usually do whenever I'm at a conference. Um, for those of you that have, that like to use like your smartphones at events, Da, 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 da. So this is the gimbal that I have, and it's the DJI Osmo. Um, and I was telling Delano, again, on Instagram stories, like seriously, if you guys ever just wanted to hang out with me, just follow me on Instagram. It's hey Stephanie Lou because I interact with you guys 24-7. So, yeah, this is, my, this is my DJI Osmo that I use, and I, use, I have a 7 Plus. So if you notice here, on my, on my um, gimbal, I actually added a counterweight because my phone is like freaking huge. And if I don't have the counterweight, what happens is that you could start to hear the motor in my gimbal. It's like zzzz. So fortunately for me, I just need to use one. When I was talking to Delano on Instagram stories, he was like, I got, I got one counterweight, but then I actually put in like a moment lens on there too. I was like, then at that point, you might wanna put more counterweights on there. Okay, so let me show you the counterweights that I actually have. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Elizabeth is asking, why did I choose that gimbal? Um, it was more of, in terms of like family recommendations. My brother-in-law, Irma Tuano, had the original DJI Osmo. And he knew that I was doing all the events. Like I was doing um, the San Diego car show at the convention center. And he's like, here, use this. And so I did that. But this is what I got. Do -do -do -do. Come on, camera. Can you find it? Find it. There you go. Okay. So you there's it's a gimbal counterweight you could have up to two in this one right here i think i probably spent like ten dollars on it on amazon and got it like the next day and this really helps me stabilize my phone so it's pretty cool um so good question elizabeth i love that you asked that anna anna's here ah, i'm always excited whenever anna's here because she's like the ultimate content creator supporter like she shares all the live streams she tags you and like just Love you. So she says, that DJI Osmo is on my vision board on Pinterest. I've heard about the counterweight hack and yup, yup. Yeah, this, this Anna, this is money, <laughs> right? Because I had one of my friends, Ryan Rosas, he was like, oh, you know what some people do? They just, they just go over to Home Depot and they 
they just strap it to the gimbal. And I was like, that is so weird. Like I can't do that. So this makes it really nice and easy to actually use. Okay. Now let's talk about some other stuff that I have. And to be honest, I actually have two gimbals. So I actually really like to use my GoPro and Oh yeah, shout out to Mike Alton and the Agora Pulse team because they actually got me the new GoPro 7 as my Christmas gift. So um, I really, really got to use it and put it into action. And so in order for me to use this with my gimbal, I had to get this GoPro plate. And this is what came in yesterday. Again, if you guys are watching the Instagram stories, it was like, I got something new. Um, this is the GoPro plate that you can use and you just slide it in right? You just slide it in and then it'll balance it out for you. I actually used this today when I was doing some behind the scenes content for my client, which is really, really fun. If you wanted to search for it, um, you know, just go on Amazon, search for GoPro DJI gimbal plate. And there's a difference. There's a difference between like the older version of the GoPro and the GoPro seven. I didn't know that Mike. It feels like whenever you upgrade to something new, then you have to like upgrade everything else. Cause I originally had the old version of this and then <laughs> I tried to use it and it didn't work so I had to order a new one so Anna's saying yes two gimbals um yeah so that's cool I love I love having the two gimbals because then I could just have like one set up on my phone and then just one set up for my GoPro and then I'm just out I'm just rolling I just do what I got to do and run from there and if you're wondering like hey like how heavy is that to like, carry all that stuff do what I do and get Mike Alton to carry it. <laughs> true story, true story. All right, cool. So let me put that down on the ground there. And then, so George, George is saying, Mike gave me the best gift, the gift of time. Oh, that's so sweet, Mike. Um, yeah, so what else did I wanted to tell you about creating content? So that's some of the gear, right? That's obviously some of the gear. And if you're just gonna use your smartphone, um, I wanna show you something really cool that Mike Watts from Love Handle made for me. And it was my very own Love Handle. Look at that. And I love this thing because I could basically go anywhere. I could like do the robot with this damn thing and it will not go away. Like this thing is so sick. I've, I even heard that on, um, on his Facebook page, they've actually made an extra large one where you could put it on your laptop and they're gonna release it on QVC. So Mike Watts, the Love Handle team, they're doing some awesome, amazing things. <laughs> George, Mike, are you laughing because I did the robot? You guys should know that I'm, this is me. This is me. Um, so this is awesome. This is amazing. He gave me a couple of them and I hope some of you got it at Social Media Marketing World. If you didn't, if you're gonna be at the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference, this is gonna be super easy for me to pack. So make sure you find me. I have swag. Speaking of which, dude, the swag at Social Media Marketing World was off the chain. I felt like everyone stepped it up and they were like, yo, if you're in my crew, you're going to represent my swag, right? So I got to give a shout out. I got to give a shout out to the homegirl, Jen Herman and the Gentourage. Look how sick this is, you guys. She had this made. She got it made like two, two weeks before the conference. And it was so funny because last year, me, George, Jen, and Tanya, we were sitting in the networking plaza with Mike Alton. We're like, yeah, you know, this is Jen's crew. Like literally, if you ever wanted to meet like a speaker over at Social Media Marketing World, all you really have to do is just like hang out with Jen. And then like her aura is like this magnet where like people just come to her. And so we made this joke of like, hey, hashtag Gentourage. And you know what? Homegirl followed through. And she busted out the bomber jackets, Gentourage, pink for the ladies and blue for the fellas. So love you, Jen. That was absolutely legit. So that's like one way, like if you're a speaker and you want to create content with attendees and content creators, give them swag. Swag is awesome. Swag is amazing. In fact, one of the people that always hooks me up is the Agora Pulse team. And they did something really cool this year where they like rented out the pedicabs and they pimped it out for um, Agora Pulse. And I don't know about you guys, but when it was raining, when it was raining at the conference, I lived in these hoodies. I lived in all of my gear because I was like, 
okay, I could look cute during the day, but when the sun comes down and the rain is pouring, I'm gonna bust out the Agora Pulse gear. And in fact, let me show you just how much I loved Agora Pulse during the conference. Hey, you guys, look what I found. It is the pedicab by Agora Pulse. Oh! <laughs> Yes, so thank you so much for that. That was absolutely amazing. And yes, a girl pulse always hooks it up. Thank you so much. In fact, <laughs> I'm like literally throwing all this stuff on the floor, which is why you never see me do like an Instagram story where I show you my floor because I'm literally like, ah, throw. And then my husband comes in and he's like, that looks all cute stuff, but your floor is super crazy. So Thinkific, which by the way, they have like the softest hoodies. And they gave out new hoodies, Boom. right? And to be very honest with you, don't tell Rob. Don't tell Rob. I have like four hoodies. I have this one that they gave me last year. It was like an extra large. Um, and then they gave me another one at the dinner. So that was cool. So I felt like even when I was hanging out at the Ecamm Live studio, when I was giving people like a heads up, a demo of the actual product themselves, um, they got to see that. I Oh, I got to do an, a, a video influencers segment with um, Sean Cannell. And I got to wear my Agora Pulse City, so that was kind of fun. So that was good. I really liked the, the Thinkific dinner. They went all out, P.S., by the way, because they rented out, what was it, the Mez Greek Cafe? And I got to sit down with Pete from Andrew and Pete. So if you know Pete, then please go ahead and tag him in here. Yay! All right, cool. So uh, other stuff that I wanted to show you is... You said, don't tell Rob. Don't, 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 don't tell Rob. Rob will eventually find out. He's like, this girl has everything. I have everything Thinkific. They gave me like a a battery charger thing, um, all this other stuff. They're just, they're lots of love. Anyways, if you guys are also going to be using your smartphone at events, I had a lot of fun giving these out to the Lights Camera Live crew. And what it is, it's a branded selfie ring light. Right? To Anna who said like, your makeup is on point. Girl, that's because I got like all this light on me. <laughs> and George actually has one of these because he used this in one of his um, live stream guest interviews today, which was pretty cool. So this is nice. It goes over your phone and it's pretty cool. If you guys want the hookup, if you want to know someone who can make these branded swag for you, just let me know. Stephanie Wheeler was the one that hooked me up and got me like a hundred of these. I don't know if I could actually bring this out to um, the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference just because I think um, shipping costs is gonna be super crappy. All right, so let's talk about how other people are creating content at the conference. So one of my good friends, Chris Strub, was doing some really cool things. So if you notice here, Chris was actually doing a lot of LinkedIn live video and he was doing it all from his smartphone because he was using Switcher Studio, right? So take a look, right? You see that he has his own mics. It has the branded mic flags and he had one for him and one for his guests, which is pretty cool. And if you wanna see how it actually looked like, let me see if I could pull it up on my phone for you guys. Let's see. Oh, Elizabeth said that she loves Stephanie Wheeler too. Yeah, Stephanie Wheeler's the bomb, y'all. Let's see. Okay, let me find this for you. Do, 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 do. You know, I'm just going to open up the text message from Chris, and I'm just going to hope that it doesn't show his phone number. Otherwise, he's going to be like, why is everyone blowing me up? <laughs> okay, cool. So let me show you my phone. Yeah, do you see this? Look at that. Ecamm did this cool thing where if I just plug in my phone now, it'll actually screencast my phone. So Chris was showing me that this was his actual setup, setup and he had a couple of his iPads. He had a tripod. This was like everything that lived in, in his backpack. I was like, wow, look at you. You know, and you don't even have a Mike Alton to carry that stuff for you. Like you are legit carrying this stuff yourself. So that's that's crazy. Um, oh my goodness. And it's, oh my God, it's Mary Fee Brand. I love Mary Payne Brent, you guys. She literally is my number one fan because she was the first person to spot me on the USS Midway, what was it, Mary, a year ago, two years ago? And she's like, I watch your show. And literally, you guys, I was like, my show? I was just starting out. And ever since then, like, she has always been there, had my back, and I, oh my God, I don't even want to cry. But I love you, Mary. So nice to have you here. <laughs> but yeah. 
Oh my God, I'm getting all watery. Mary, that's how much I love you. Okay, so going back to Chris, this is Chris's setup. You can see that he has um, an iPad. That thing is freaking huge, right? And then an iPad holder, two mics, so that's pretty awesome. And then you can see that he had other people there that he was going live with as well. And this one, he's actually just using his phone. Isn't that cool? Like, look at you, Chris. And what was really awesome about Chris was that he strategically, he strategically placed himself at the convention center where like right over here was where speakers would have to go in and get their badges right? So speakers would go in and get their badges and then Chris would be right here be like, hey, hop on my show. And it's like, dude, that was so smart because if you're a content creator and if you want to intercept the speakers, find out where the speakers are getting their badges, right? Don't harass them or anything. Don't harass them. But you know, that's a good opportunity to like bump into them. Like I bumped into Mari like a couple of times. I was like, Mari Smith. So that was really cool. And then if you also know like the escalators that they take to go to the speaker's room, that might be a really cool way um, to engage with some of the, the content creators that you enjoy meeting with, right? So let me go ahead and show you Chris's setup because I was like, Chris, how did you do that? Like, what, you know, what did you buy? What did you use? And so Chris is actually an Amazon influencer. So if you want to check it out, let me actually put this in the comments for you guys. Oh yeah, Lori is just asking right now, do you know what mics he's using? I'm looking for one of those. So Lori, the one that he was using is this one right here. So if I click on this for you, this is the actual Samson Go Mic Mobile that he used and it was pretty legit. Again, it sounded so good. If you've ever listened to any of Chris's um, LinkedIn lives or any of the stuff that he did at social media marketing world. Like he did a fantastic job and look, it's actually on sale. It's like $79.99 right now. So you could definitely go ahead and check that out. Cool beans. All right. So that was Chris's stuff. What other questions do you guys have about like Chris's gear? Because I'm always like messaging him and asking about like, what do you use and all that. I feel like, you know, when you're a content creator, you, you want to share with people like what you're using. And so, um, if you don't have a kit.com kit.com is basically what I use to, to show all the different gear that I use. Uh, Chris uses the Am Amazon influencer program and it's super helpful. Okay. So let's take a look at the comments here. Oh, Lori says, thank you. You're welcome, Lori, just for you. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and show you a, a few other cool people that are, that were really crushing it in terms of creating content um, over at the conference. Did you guys see, did you guys see Chad and Lainey? They had this, they had this like super funny setup where they're um, holding these signs and they're saying like, we need subscribers. And it was so funny. It was funny because, it was funny because when I was over at the Ecamm booth, I was over at the Ecamm booth um, and then I think it was Mary. Mary said, oh my gosh, did you see like Chad and Lainey outside and they have this sign? I was like, no, I didn't see them. But then when I left the Ecamm booth to walk over there, I saw them sitting outside kind of like across from Chris Strub. And then I crashed their live and I was hoping that Mary could see me, which Mary, I don't even know if, if, if we circled back on that, but they have some really good content. They use the, a different gimbal. It's called a Zune. And it's probably like a fraction of the cost if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. But if you have any questions about it, ask them. The other cool thing about, about these guys, what I love, is they are GIF maker masters, okay? Like I'm, of the 360 marketing squad, I'm probably one that's like the prankster. Like I do the bloopers and I do the GIF stuff, but like those two, do some amazing things too. And if you guys ever wanted to create gifts, this is what I was telling to the Ecamm team. I was like, you know, there's lots of ways that we could go ahead and repurpose the content that we had from the conference. In fact, um, I use this thing. My phone needs to be updated, y'all. <laughs> Not now. Not now. So I use this thing over here. It's called Giphy, and you could basically just download it to your computer. And from here, I was able to create like a lot of gifts of my friends and like people that stopped by the Ecamm booth. So it's a nice way to repurpose your content and have people there. Um, I made this one specifically for Kendra because she was like, why wasn't I there? And I was like, girl, let me just put you in there. But 
yeah, so that's some really cool stuff that you could do is, you know, repurpose a lot of your content. I was I was telling Ecamm, I was like, you had Molly Mahoney, you had Owen Video, Mike Alton, all these people, like even Yeevee did did an interview with Brandon Berkmeyer from Brands on Brands on Brands. And I was like, just that content alone, you could go ahead and repurpose that into a blog post, create some snippets, create some really funny gifts, and then send it back you know, send it back to the influencers that stop by your booth and then just have them share it, right? Like one of the ones that made me laugh a lot was um, this one that I have of Molly. Molly was like, oh, cheers. I thought well, that one was really, really cute. So good, 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 good. So if you guys want to have fun with that, it's Giphy. You could download it. Um, I think it's actually available for Mac and PC. So you could go ahead and check that out. All right. So I'm trying to see what other questions you guys have. Let me minimize this real quick. George says, oh my God, Mike Alton. Everybody loves Mike Alton. Let's see here. <laughs> oh my God, Mike Alton. Yes. Okay, so I shared with you guys a couple of the swag that I made for my fans, which is the selfie ring light. You guys can get this. If you see me at my next conference, definitely ask for one of those. If you want to have one of these bad boys, Hit up Love Handle. They can make one branded just for you. If you're going to be at the conference again, I would love to give you guys one of these. That would be amazing. And I think, oh, I had a post-it note of everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, so I showed you Chris's setup for a mobile um, a mobile setup. So whether or not you want to do like a, the wireless mics, I showed you Chris's setup. And then I showed you Love Handle. I showed you the gimbal that I use. Um, the hoodies. Just keep sending the hoodies, you guys. I love the hoodies. That's always a ton of fun. Oh yeah, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was like, let's say you're going to these conferences and you want to collaborate with other content creators. Well, here's something that's really cool that you can do. So if you guys were in the Whova app for a social media marketing world, let me go ahead and throw this up real quick. Let's go over here. There's Chris again. Let's see. If you're looking for other content creators to engage with, in the actual Whova app, there was like this, there's this topic of all the video content creators. And if you're still a part of it, you could actually just go back into the app and connect with all of those people and, and just basically be like, hey, you know, we didn't get to meet in real life, but you know, what other conferences are you going to be at? Maybe we could do something at the next event or maybe just hop on Skype and do something together. So there was a ton of questions in here, lots of people that you could still connect with. Let me just look for the one where it says posted in. They, like Literally, this app was going crazy. I can't believe I only have like 1,700 unread messages right now because before, I, I think I had like 10,000 at one point, which is crazy. Okay, so video creators, right? So you can meet all of these amazing people. They were creating content there. Um, it was a ton of fun because I would ask them like, what meetups are you going to that I want to be a part of? And some of them would even get like, like sponsor, sponsor promo codes that they could use and then they would share it with one another. So that was a ton of fun. So yeah. So let's say I wanted to reach out to, to Mark. Mark is from Switcher Studio. I could go ahead, ahead and just tap on his name and then from there connect with him. So VP of sales of Switcher Studio, yes, I would love to connect with you. I'd love to do LinkedIn Live. That would be awesome and amazing, right? So that's one of the ways that you could go ahead and do that. Oh, and Chris is here. Hey, Chris, so good to see you. Now, the other place that you guys might want to go ahead and check out in terms of, of interacting with people or like getting new relationships with other content creators, I mentioned this during my session and it's the collaboration nation that Rob put together. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this link in the comments for you guys because we're up to like about 142 members and I really want you guys to hang out in here because we're always talking about, we're always talking about like new collaborations and things that we can use. And Daniel's saying, what are we talking about? We're talking about gear guides. So gear that we used over at the Ecamm Live Studio, the wireless mics, how to hook that up. We talked about the different gimbals, counterweights, things that you could use for your smartphone, how brands can interact with influencers, right? Give them swag. That 
that's the best way to do it. And if you're looking for other content creators to hang out with, Collaboration Nation is one of the best places to go ahead and do that because Rob does a fantastic job in just growing this group, right? He's like, what's what's exciting happening this week? Drop your news, your goals, your collaboration invites. So again, if you guys are post-conference, you want other people to connect with, check out the collaboration group, okay? Rob Balasabas is the man. He sure is, Chris. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. All right, so you guys, what other questions do you have about creating content at conferences? Um, if I were to give you like one tip, I would say when I was over at the Ecamm Live studio, one way that I was able to ensure that I could get like Chris to come over to the studio was I created a, a Calendly link. And what was so helpful about having that Calendly link was that it would block out their calendar it would block out my calendar and then i could take a screenshot and i could send it over to the ecamm team and say like hey chris is coming over to your area molly mahoney is coming oh and video is coming and it made it a lot more smooth and organized another tip for you guys you know if you just want to be spontaneous is try to get a hotel room that's actually close to the convention center um jay bear actually mentioned this in one of his articles or i think he wrote in somebody else's article, but I told you, I was like, yeah, that's smart. Try to get a hotel room that's relatively close to the convention center. Because what happened to me was when I was getting ready on Wednesday, Sean Cannell um, hit me up on Instagram and it was like, hey, do you have time to create content? I was like, oh my God, you know who I am? And I was like, yeah, dude, I could totally meet you up at XYZ time and I could just walk across um, the railroad tracks and get over to the convention center. So that was a ton of fun. So those are my tips for you. You know, if you're looking for content creators that you could hang out with um, and set aside some time. So let's see here. Yeah, Chris is saying he did an interview at a hotel room near San Diego Convention Center with Daniel Harmon. That's cool. I had to pause for a second, Chris, because when you said SDCC, in my mind, that means San Diego Comic Con, which if you don't know, I am a big, huge fan and I absolutely love it. All right, you guys. So what other, Daniel saying, love the styling of the shot, Stephanie. Is that a green screen or actual stuff? This is actual stuff in the background. Isn't that crazy? Oh, and I wanna show you something else, you guys, that Ecamm has done. Mary, you probably haven't played around with this yet, but you know me, I am always um, down for trying new stuff. So if you haven't heard, <laughs> you probably heard that because that was loud. Um, Ecamm Live, the beta version, now allows you to connect your Canon easily just with the micro USB cable. So let me see if I could hook this up. Because originally, my plan was that I wanted to show you guys my... I wanted to show you my... my shelf. <laughs> Which sounds kind of funny. Oh, but let's see here. One second. Let's see if it pops up. I've been playing around with it. Again, if you saw me on um, my Instagram stories, I have it there. But let's see. Are you going to show up? Are you going to be nice? Let's see. Three. Nope. Ah, oh, bummer. It doesn't want to play. That's okay. I'll show it to you later. Um, George is asking, Stephanie, what lens do you have on the GH5? I, You know what? I honestly don't remember. Let me take a look. 1235? 35 millimeter lens. Whatever, basically whatever Sean Cannell had recommended on Think Media is basically what I got. Because when I was watching his YouTube um, video, I was like, I want that same exact look. And he has a kit.com. And so I just went over to kit his kit.com and I just like loaded up my my cart, got everything off of like B&H photography, and then it worked out just fine. So that was pretty cool. Let's see here. All right. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be able to show you the Canon, but it was pretty cool because I had it set up before the show where I could actually show you my shelf, and that was going to be really fun. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Give me a second. Yeah, can you give me a second? I just want to see if it works. Ah, okay. It does It does show up on the Canon, but I can't get it to work in Ecamm unless I like reboot it. Mm, oh well, that's okay. But George, yeah, if you wanna see like my setup for the GH5, it's just over at kit.com, hey Stephanie. Basically everything that you guys ask me about like, hey, what are you using for bulk video recording? What are you using with Switcher Studio? I have it all broken out and listed here. So I have like the wireless mics that I'm gonna use for Ecamm when I head over to MDMC. Mike and I are already brainstorming how we could go ahead and brand that from the Agora Pulse Studio. That would be really cool. 
And then video gear for bulk re video recordings, which are studio. What do I use for mobile? And then my GH5. So that's basically what you're asking. That's, that's my GH5. So let me go ahead and look over here. So George, if you actually wanted to use a GH5 for your live stream, yeah, that's the lens that I have there. And then, you know, just make sure that you go ahead and get the, the battery adapter too. That'll be fun. Yay. All right, you guys, what other questions do you have about creating content at conferences? And it's so happy to see Chad here. Yay. So nice to see you here. He goes, thanks, Michael. I have no idea what we just did. <laughs> but now we are following Stephanie Lou. I love talking to them. I love following their stories and I love seeing all of the content that they're creating post event. I think that's a ton of fun. So if you haven't met them yet, meet them because they're awesome. Follow them. They're trying to grow their followers. <laughs> I support other content creators. That's a ton of fun. So go ahead and check them out. All right, you guys. Um, if you don't have any other questions, or if you do, go ahead and drop them in the comments right now because this was a fun show. Thank you so much for letting me geek out with you. Um, like I said, I use the DJI Osmo gimbal. That was pretty cool. If you want to get the counterweights, go ahead and get the counterweights and that'll be fun as well. So let's see here. Shannon Cook is saying, my company is hosting a conference next week. How often should I be posting and going live during those three days? Um, depends on what channel, right? Because if you're doing like Instagram, then I think you probably go live multiple times. But if you're going to do Facebook, right? If you want to do Facebook and you want to get the engagement, that way you could go ahead and report back to like your key stakeholders. This is how much live views we got, engagement, yada, yada. I'd probably say go live once a day, right? And then recap everything that you learned at the event. I think that'll give you um, a lot of content to play around with and it'll give people to actually stick around and really watch it. Because if you're just like, oh, hey, I'm hanging out over here at the booth and that's it, um, they're probably just going to block it out. So if you have a, a purpose, a specific intention for why you're going live on Facebook, that's going to help you out. But if you're going to do Instagram, um, I think you could just go ahead and hop on for that. So definitely have fun with that. Good question. Good, 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 good question. Um, <laughs> Chad says, it says you need to follow. That's because of my other client's account. But let me go ahead and just follow from my client's account. You're like, who is, who is this? All right. Any other questions? Thank you, Shannon. That was super helpful. What conference are you going to? Is it the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference? Um, P.S. By the way, for those of you who are headed over to the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference, just want to give you a heads up. I, I come in on the 15th. So I'm going to have a three hour workshop on remote live producer and what, what remote live producer is. It's a way for entrepreneurs, for brands and small business owners that want to leverage live video, but don't have the production team. So I'm going to show you how you could hire a remote live producer to help you put your run of show together, how to promote your show, how to repurpose your content. So that's going to be part one of remote live producer for content creators that want to do live video, but don't want to fumble with the tech. And then part two is really for if you're already a live streamer and you want to make additional income by live streaming for other people, for other brands, then I'll show you how you could go ahead and set up that actual arrangement. So how do you hop on a discovery call? How do you go through the vision? How do you divvy up the roles and responsibilities in terms of like who's creating the assets, who's promoting the show, yada, yada, yada. We'll also talk about things about what is your gear guide? Like what's the gear guide for you as a remote live producer? What's the gear guide for the host and the guest? Because of course you'll, you'll, you'll want to have a tech rehearsal. That's going to be a part of your job as a remote live producer. So that's a part of that. And I'm looking over there because I actually have um, my, my presentation on the wall. Um, but other things that we're going to be talking about is your pricing strategy. Like if you do want to do this, how much should you be charging? And as a brand, how much should you be paying, right? And then what's what's involved within those three tier packages. So if you guys are interested in that, sign up because there's still room that's available. It's remote live producer. And then I also have another session on the psychology behind live video and why it works so well. So hang out there and then there's the live streaming panel and the personal branding panel. So there's a lot. There's a lot. You can find me in a lot of places. Mike Alton is going to be there. Jen Herman. Amanda Robinson is going to be having her own Facebook advertising workshop. So that'll be a ton of fun. I'm pretty sure that even if you had questions about chatbots, you could probably ask her too. Yeevee is going to be speaking there. So there's just a lot of people that you can interact with and engage. 
All right, so let me go ahead and take a look at the comments here real quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Mike is saying it's such an awesome conference. Yeah, it really, is an, it, it really is a great conference because it's hosted by the University of Missouri-St. Louis. And so all of the proceeds from the tickets actually go back to their students. So it goes back to buying new gear. Ah, did you just see that? Just tie that all back together. So new gear, like podcasting mics, new lighting, new cameras, all of that stuff. So it goes back to the students and you can actually meet them in person and they're really fun to talk to. And it's just cool to see the next wave of content creators that are coming out. Um, oh, and if you're... If you're a business owner and you want to hire an intern, you might as well go to MDMC because these students have gone through a semester, like let's say with Vernon Ross to learn about podcasting, right? To learn about podcasting. And then if you want to offer them a position, an intern position to help edit your podcast, things of that sort, I'm sure you'll have plenty of people that you could go ahead and connect with. Vernon Ross could even go ahead and give you some recommendations. All right. <laughs> Chad is saying, by the way, I scheduled some time to get my eyebrows, eyebrows tattooed. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, like Anna, I think you're picking up on this too. Um, I'm a busy mama. And so I actually got some permanent makeup done. I got my ombre eyebrows. I got my eyeliner done. So I never really have to worry about it. Anyways, I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in to Lights Camera Live. I'll drop all of the links uh, to the kit.com, Chris's influencer program and all that other stuff uh, for you guys. So if you have any other questions about the gear or just like even how to hook things up, um, let me know because this is going to be like one super epic blog post. And Chad, I was, I was thinking of reaching out to you because I wanted to see like what gear you use too. So if you want to drop that in the comments, do that too. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you later. Take care, everyone. <music>